Robin Cooper here. And today the name of the song is Amazing Things in the World. And I was um, thinking this morning of the autumn and the mountains and the leaf colors changing on the trees. And I was imagining I was there. <laughs> and so this little scene came into my head, and I thought, oh, how pretty. So I hope you like that. Um, I want to talk a little bit about my writing style. I um, want to tell you a little bit about where I get my ideas from. Um, I've always been a writer. I've been writing as far back as probably hmm, first grade. The um, story is, is that when I was two, I, I learned how to read. And I knew my address, and I knew um, I was advanced in my years. And so as a two-year-old, I guess uh, the story is, is that um, I was able to think like a five-year-old or a seven-year-old. Um, whether or not that was accurate, I have memories of that time, yes. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't remember being able to reason at that age. Um, when I started reasoning, I was probably, probably more like five, four or five. And at that point, then, um, yes, I do remember that I had reasoning skills uh, beyond a five-year-old's. And so it made it difficult for me to play with the other children, obviously. Um, I didn't really understand what they were doing. Um, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my songwriting style. So, when I write, I like to take a concept and then it kind of explore it. What would that mean? And then talk about it a little bit. Um, some of the songs that are on my CDs, that are not puppet shows, um, are different because I design the song specifically for the puppets when I write for the puppets. Other times I just write a song because I'm upset with somebody. Um, you know, we all get upset with people in our family, maybe some of the decisions that they make. Maybe we agree, maybe we don't. And so sometimes I'm doing that. But my writing style differs pretty much daily, and if you've been following me, you know this. Um, Yes, I am extremely bright, um, and I know this, but I don't like to brag. I'm not a bragging kind of person. Um, that's I just find that silly. However, um, I also I understand that my songs can get confusing because I keep them open-ended, and most of the time I'm talking about fiction. I'm making stuff up. And, you know, I watched a show and it was inspiring or, you know, that kind of thing. But there are times that I'll talk about something that my family's going through or somebody in my life or somebody that's not in my life. And I try to look through their eyes. That being said, the other day when I was out and about and handing out CDs, one of the ladies really was fantastic, and, and thank you for taking time with me. Um, she actually made a very good assessment, and I started thinking about it, and I thought, you know what, she might be right. Uh, basically, she said that I'm the autistic person who is teaching herself how to interact with others and how to access that part of the brain that normally is not able to be expressed by using creativity, my storing, storytelling ability to express what my inner thoughts might be. And I'm sure you've noticed my thoughts are much different. I don't worry about things that most people worry about. Um, I look at the logical side of things. I try to. Um, now, granted, I don't have 100% control over my emotions. I wish I did, um, but I don't. And I do have anxiety attacks, 
and I have some trouble with that. But, you know, again, I'm, I'm trying to be very aware of my own behavior and aware of how I react to things. And even if I may not do a reaction that I am happy with the next day, then I try to apologize if I was out of line. And so, um, but that's just the way my brain works. Um, I think I said to you guys um, months ago that I thought you might find this interesting. And I'm hoping, again, that insights into how my mind works, that maybe that will give insight to those with autism or within the autistic spectrum that maybe cannot communicate um, like I can. And maybe, hopefully, by the insights that I share, it, it'll give a better understanding of others. And so um, that's the part of my goal, I guess. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed today. Again, the amazing things in the world. And we're going to have Desiree sing. And um, hopefully you enjoy that. And we got her in a really pretty green outfit today. So um, let's get her in the light. All right, so I'm going to duck out of sight here, and here we go with the song. Thank you. Oh, yes, and thank you so, so much. Thank you for your time and your views. Thank you for your support and your enthusiasm. I really, really do appreciate it. And um, thank you to all of you who are sharing with a friend. Please continue to do so. And uh, here we go, and we'll have Desiree as our puppet today. When you look around at the world, what do you see? Do you see the beauty and amazing things every day? Do you look at the challenges or do you look for adventure? The way one sees the world can be something to measure. What then? What then? 